better put the kids to bed because on this week's At Your Leisure, we're getting dirty. Don't worry, we're just doing a mud run. All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Darren Kinder. And I'm Jill Kinder. Today, we show you how one Utah town celebrates the 4th of July. Then, Zach is showing a completely new side of southern Utah on a couple ATV trails that are full of ancient Native American ruins. And, Darren, you are never allowed to drive our truck like that. Oh, come on. Just once? I don't think so. AYL starts now. Welcome to At Your Leisure, I'm Jill Kinder. And I'm Darren Kinder, and we're here in Roosevelt, Utah to participate in the Red Mud Run. We're gonna have some fun today. That's right, we brought our daughter and a few other friends. This is the fourth annual Roosevelt Red, Red Mud Run. Yep. And uh, so they've got a little practice in getting runners muddy. So yep. we're excited to participate. We've got our nice white t-shirts <laughs> on, you know, and we're gonna do a little all natural tie-dyeing today. <laughs> what, what are you gonna do, Jane? Is that gonna be fun? Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. you can see her enthusiasm. But she's excited, that's right. <laughs> Well, again, this is their fourth annual, so we're going to show you why you need to come out for the fifth annual next year. This is the, uh, this is the fourth year that we've been doing it, um, and uh, we have a unique mud, kind of red, uh, like St. George has. We have that, and uh, it's an obstacle course. The runners are going to run straight through. They're going to run over obstacles, chairs, through tires, through mud, through water, and uh, they're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun and uh, a lot of dirty. Uh, we had some councilmen that were trying to figure out what could bring people to the city, and uh, they came up with an idea of, a, of an obstacle course. So it just kind of started from there, and uh, it's increased in size every year. People come from all over the state and different, different states to come. It's pretty fun. So last year we had almost 500, almost maybe 600 people run. So we're expecting probably a bigger turnout this year. I think the event is such a success because it is a family-oriented activity and we really do promote family-oriented activities in our community. There's going to be bands all day, family activity, picnicking in the park, and the, and the night with fireworks. This mud pit here um, is part of the mud run, but at the end of the actual mud run event, we take our kids ages seven and under and throw in golf balls and let them dig in the mud pit, find the golf balls, and trade them in for prizes for today. I think it's crazy, um, but I think it's just the, the activity of having an activity and being together and I think we'll have more spectators, obviously, and, and people just love to watch it. We're out here pre-running the, tr the trail a little bit. It's quite a challenge. They've got these big hay bales. They've got a double stack and a triple stack. So <laughs> we'll see if we can make it. We thought we'd try first before we did the actual race. <laughs> Come on up, girls. It's like, the view is fantastic. No, I'm all right. <laughs> While we're doing this, and before we start the actual race, take a look at the travel adventure with Zach. Hey guys, Zach Cipriano here. I am in San Juan County, and this beautiful vista is just right outside of Blanding, Utah. Now, I want to talk philosophy with you guys for a second here. Sometimes in life, we're presented with two choices, two equally good choices, and we just don't know which one to take. I mean, there's rewards to this one, but there's also certain benefits to this one. What do you do? Well, in our situation, I say, why not pick both? So we're taking two trails today. The first one is Hotel Rock, and it's an extreme off-road experience. It climbs a sandstone slab, very rocky. Most people would uh, not believe that you're really on a road. And when you get to the top of that, it levels out a little bit, and you approach a large sandstone, the sandstone kind of monolith that's behind me. And at the base of it, uh, there's a bunch of ruins here where the Anasazi had some dwellings. The next trip is a trip up Arch Canyon. And it's a very serene 
beautiful landscape. It's got cliffs that are close to a thousand feet on each side. Also, um, several different monoliths within the canyon. And you cross a stream at least 30 times. Uh, lots of vegetation, lots of animals, and it's just absolutely stunning. And it's less difficult, less extremes. The difference between the trail to Hotel Rock and Arch Canyon is a simple fork in the road. No matter which direction you pick, you'll be in for an adventure. But the fact that both are in such close proximity to each other allows for you to hit up both monuments in a single day's trip, easily. Heck, you'll even have time to stop, relax, and chow down on some grub under the shade of these ruins. There's all kinds of trails out scattered throughout Sound County, everything from beginner to advanced, and that people that may have a little fear, if they just come out and they can find someone that knows what they're doing and that they'd be able to kind of get comfortable as they do it and you know as they just overcome one little challenge at a time. Now if you've seen me on the show before you know I'm a really big fan of personal discovery but I'm also a huge proponent of guided tours because when your guide is as immersed and educated about the history of the landscape as my guides were from Four Corners Adventures then you're in for an incredible journey with some unforgettable moments. I started this company eight years ago and I started it because I loved southern Utah, southeastern Utah. And we really love to bring people out and, and share this with them. Uh, I'm an educator, I've been a professor of education, and I'd just love to share my love for the outdoors with others. We'd love to have you down here. Just go to www.riversandruins.com. We have all of our tours online. Whether you like hiking or floating the river, we'd love to uh, help you explore this region. And look, I get it, sometimes planning a family vacation can be tough, especially when each member of the family has varying interests and proclivity for being outside. But San Juan County has a little bit of something for everyone. There's history of ancient peoples in the area for some of your bookworms, gorgeous scenery for those trying to snap a perfect Instagram pic, and rough terrain with exciting climbs for the more adventurous members of the group. It's just kind of fun to cross some of the rough terrain, you know, it's just kind of challenging, like, yeah, I got over that today, and, and it's not just all about the adrenaline, it's just the country that you're going through is just absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. Many of the locations we visited today would be difficult and extremely time consuming to get to on foot. The access we enjoy with the UTVs can be quite riveting, but as a wise man once said, with great power comes great responsibility. This landscape, these ruins have lasted for thousands of years, and if riders continue to respect and take care of this area, and they're gonna last for thousands more. And I think one of the most important things is to, to bring people here and, and to teach them about how to respect and how to enjoy it. It really sparks an interest. There's so many people that come out and they wanna come see the beautiful canyons, see the desert, and then we end up at, at, at a place like this and it creates a whole new interest level in the Anasazi culture and the history. And then we can talk about how to respect it, how to how to preserve and protect it and still enjoy it and still leave it accessible to them and to our future posterity. These sites that we see, these Native American sites, are one of thousands of sites in the region and it's really special. And so besides the archaeology and besides learning about the ancestral Puebloans, you also have the, the majesty of the just the desert. The, the, the views are spectacular. Uh, one of our guests, they had just come over from Zions and they were like, man, this overlooks better than uh, Angel's Landing. We love it. And so you kind of get the best of both worlds. Right now, I'm standing among some ancestral Puebloan ruins, and it's really incredible. I mean, we're guessing this was some kind of central hub for trading or something because it's clear that this was made for a great deal of people. Now, it's really important that we respect these ruins because the history here is absolutely fascinating. But at the same time, it sure is nice to be able to walk right up to it and see it up close. So, well, I'm Zach Cipriano. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but when we come back, we're going to have your product reviews. So don't go Family time, friend time, your time. You've been thinking about getting a machine, but which one is right for you? An ATV, side-by-side, -side, or dirt bike? Stedman's Recreation has Utah's largest selection of Honda, Polaris, Yamaha, and Beta machines. See them all at Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. Need a tune-up, new tires, or want a winch? Stedman's Service Department can help. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. 
Are you ready for some rodeo? July 13th, 14th, and 15th is the Ute Stampede Rodeo in Nephi, Utah. 8 p.m. nightly, more than 2,000 new seats added to that amazing facility. Cotton Rosser, the legend, brings the livestock to challenge the RCA Cowboys. The entertainment, the Flying U Flying Cowboys, along with Emmanuel Lotza, who will be there to perform acrobatics over Mexican fighting bulls. July 13th, 14th, 15th, we'll see you at the Ute Stampede. What a great time to get out and ride the ATV and UTV. Summertime's here. However, some of the key things that one can do in order to prevent an accident or an injury on these is to know your machine. Sometimes when you're on an ATV, you have the ability to shift your weight and move around. On a UTV, you're somewhat restricted. Do a couple of things. Read your owner's manual, take an education course, and become familiar with your machine and start slowly. Utah State Parks, adventures for everyone. Welcome back to At Your Leisure and welcome to the Race City Product Review. I'm Chad Booth and we are looking at another unit in the KZ line. This is the 3411. This is a garaged toy hauler that is really upscale. It's got a lot of really cool features and we'll get to the inside in a minute. But right now we want to take a look at the outside. I want to start with looking at the awning system on this. It has a complete automated control system and you can run it from your iPad. And what's really handy about this is when you are right close to a tree and you only have so much space, you can control it and get, you can be within a couple of inches and say, that's where I need it to be. The same control makes it really easy when you're self-leveling the machine because you've got this automatic level system and you can control it out here. We're gonna start at the front this time. This is the master bedroom. I really like the fact that KZ is going to dark woods This uh, in, the, in the padded leather. Now the Master's got its own TV, great big hanging wardrobe, full-size floor-to-ceiling hanging locker across the front. They've really configured this quite nicely. Now just take a look around the corner there. You've got under the direction of a full pocket door a nice big shower. Shower has a bench. Setting the mood for a camping trip used to be, you know, the scent of pine, but now we can do it all electronically. Look at the mood lighting or the cove lighting around the top of this unit. So if you, if you don't want to stick with a rainbow, you have options from a strobe light, if you're going to have a disco here, to picking any one of the solid colors and just saying, hold that color. So now that we've talked about mood lighting, let's shed a little light on the subject of this kitchen. Counter space is always a big deal when you're in an RV. There is never enough, but look at this kitchen. They've maximized it by having inserts for the sink, really deep sink, I might point out. Now, right across the way here, you can do two things. One, you can sit here and watch the Master Chef cook and get a free cooking lesson for these nice, comfortable reclining loungers, or you can watch TV if it gets boring. Then out here in the garage, which also serves as the bedroom, some interesting things to look at. Number one, direct access for the kids into an area where they can get the floor dirty with all their mud and dirty clothes. Second thing to look at, check this out right here. They have a rail walk system to tie down your ATVs. Then of course out in the back is the deck. And of course they've got sliding screen and plastic doors so that you have a great deal of privacy and temperature control. And a big spacious deck that has something that I have never ever seen before. This is the first for me, hopefully for you too a landing ladder off the back deck. So once you get your ATVs off, you can actually access directly onto the deck through this gate across the back. Isn't that slick? Now, all of these features are wrapped up into a very modest 34-foot fifth wheel toy hauler with a lot of nice finish. It is the Venom. It's by KZ. You can find it at Ray City RV. I suggest you go look at it. It'll probably change the way you think about toy haulers. That wraps up the product review. We'll be back with more of At Your Leisure in just a minute.
Our competitor claimed that their product has more horsepower than our Sea-Doo Spark. What they didn't mention is that theirs weighs 170 pounds more. So we conducted a highly scientific study to find out how that extra weight affects performance. Davy? The extra 170 pounds of our competitor has a noticeable effect. The Sea-Doo Spark. Lighter, quicker, and more agile. <sighs> Too often we find ourselves in shoes like these. Or these. Wouldn't it be nice to change into something more like this? Or this? How about these? Put on whatever shoes you prefer and come to Beaver County. We have exactly the adventure you need to put under them. So the next time you want to change out of these, come to Beaver County where you can jump into a pair of these. Beaver County, Utah. Lace up for adventure. Look south to adventure. Look south to beauty. Look south to San Juan County. Out here, the road goes on forever, and what you'll find will change how you see the world. Climb on your OHV and discover forgotten landscapes and vistas that challenge the imagination. From Blanding and Monticello to the cliff faces of Monument Valley, we're open and ready for you to explore. San Juan County, Utah's Canyon Country. Summertime. And now it's even better because summer is free at Ray City RV. That's right. Purchase a trailer or motorhome from Ray City. Pay nothing till October. Over $10,000 off. Time to buy is now. Summer's free at Ray City RV. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're headed out on the course. Yep, we're going to go get these white shirts all dirty on this red mud run. And we're going to have a great time. <laughs> now, I might have to use Jane to get over some of the obstacles. <laughs> So it starts in the park, but once it gets to the mud section where most of the obstacles are, um, you're pretty much doing an obstacle every like 20 meters. So it's a lot of fun and you get wet, which is nice because it's, it's pretty warm out here. I love the race. It was my first time doing a race, let alone one with obstacles. And I'm not really a runner. I, um, I like to work out, but I don't like running long distances necessarily. So this was super fun. I liked being able to switch it up with the, like the mud and the water and the other obstacles and everything like that. So it was awesome. I definitely want to do this again. I had a good time. I've run a mud run before and it was good. It, like, But it just felt like there was only mud. There wasn't very many obstacles. This one, there were a lot more obstacles and they were more challenging. The hay, the stacks of hay were really hard for me getting up by myself, but that was probably my favorite part because it was so hard. It was way different than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think there'd be as many obstacles as there were, which is great because I'm not a runner. And so it was nice that it was broken up into little pieces. I love doing it with my family because then they can keep like cheering you on and it's like a team effort and they can help you up some of the obstacles because some of them are real tall. They had these hay bales stacked up like one, two, three, and maybe even four at the end. And so you just had to like jump from one to the next one, and then you jumped into a big, muddy pool of water, and that was that was pretty fun. I can definitely see why someone would make this a tradition for their 4th of July. It's just a fun activity to get together with the family. Uh, they, they change it up a little bit every year, and so it's never the same thing. We Woo! made it! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and Jill beats me again. Oh, yes. <laughs> That was fun. This is really a great time to come out here. I love these mud runs because even Jaden, you know, she's not much of a runner, but she comes out and does this, and we all kind of get together and help each other over the obstacles. They use me to stand on and so forth. <laughs> it was great. Roosevelt put on a great race here. Did you like that jump off the hay bales there? Yeah, that was, that was my <laughs> challenge there. I don't like heights, but I did it. So. Yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw you yeah. squinting the whole way. But we're definitely going to be out here next year to do it again, and you should too. But right now, we need to get to our trailhead adventure, brought to you by RockyMountainATVMC.com. From behind the wheel of a 900 horsepower race truck, you feel everything. From the vibrations of the engine to the mud spattering your face. It's a solitary time of focus and endurance where nothing and no one outside of the roll cage matters. Or at least that's what you'd think. Today, the Lucas Oil Off-Road Series has come to the Utah Motorsports Campus in Tooele, bringing with it 
high octane thrills, insane speeds, and a surprising amount of family togetherness both in the stands and on the track. It's a cool deal. We race the Lucas Oil Off-Road Series out here, and uh, I race Pro 4, which is a premier class, and right now we're four-time champs, just living life, having a good time. It's fun. It goes pretty quick. You know, I have three or four big races all together, and uh, it's just a lot of action, a lot of running into each other, jumping over each other, and it's good racing. I've raced a lot of things, and I enjoy this the most just because of the action of it. I always like this track. Uh, it usually gets a big crowd, and uh, I usually come here and go mountain biking up at the canyons, and enjoy uh, the state actually it's fun so I'm from California and I did uh, motocross supercross freestyle motocross and got into truck racing after I broke a lot of bones and a little safer safe is relative when you're hitting speeds that turn the world outside into little more than a blur from its original inception the Utah Motorsports Campus was designed for racers of all types the most famous of course is the world-renowned track but the dirt course has grown more and more popular with each passing year Families have begun to make this their go-to destination for speed, and while that's to be expected, it's the family aspect on the track itself that leads to the biggest surprises. You know, we're kind of born and raised racing trucks. Uh, my dad's done it my whole life, and uh, he's since retired about three or four years ago. And my brother's dabbled in it. My brother now races monster trucks, so we're, uh, we're in motorsports, the whole family. And that generational reach isn't limited to seasoned racers at Utah Motorsports Campus. Pros like Brian Deegan have turned the entire event into a family affair, passing on his skill to his own children. My daughter races pro light actually here also. She's second in the points. She's definitely uh, super fast. So she's going to NASCAR in a few years, so it should be pretty cool. I've been racing trucks since I was about eight years old. For my eighth birthday, I got my first truck. My mom, she's kind of scared at first, because I think when I got my first car, when I was eight years old, I flipped it and she like flipped out, but now she's cool with it. She has like faith in me that I'm good at it. <laughs> Most of my friends are at the track, so they kind of see the perspective of my racing, but they think it's pretty cool that I'm a girl out there and in like a big pro class. I think the biggest thing in racing is being aggressive. When I came in, I was the person getting pushed around, and I was getting hit, pushed off the track. Now I'm the person pushing people around, and so I think being aggressive is the biggest thing. Most spectators would see the chaos of the course and think this setting would be the furthest thing from family togetherness you could possibly find. And yet somehow, like many other off-road sports, the speed and dirt bridge the gap between parents and children. It creates an environment not of lone wolf racers, but men and women holding close to what really brings them success, the people they love. I think my dad's my biggest hero. He's the one who's taught me everything that I know. And I think, I see all these other drivers, my dad, at the top, he's done the most, so I think it's my biggest aspiration. We bring the whole circus, man. I've got my wife, two kids here, and half the pit is racing, half of it is family, and kids and water and, and, and fun, so it's a, it's a good event for us to come to and hang out and barbecue and, and enjoy it. It looks like the drivers aren't as alone behind the wheel as we probably thought. From the trailhead, I'm Joe Davis. Run faster, pull harder, and leave everyone else behind with an impressive 154 horsepower combined with 113 foot-pounds of tire spinning torque. The Maverick X3 absolutely rockets off the line, going from 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds. All thanks to a turbocharged, intercooled Rotax ACE engine. So get ready to wait for everyone else to catch up. In a place that is beyond words, there is nothing to be said, except take your time in Bryce Canyon country. Summertime, and now it's even better because summer is free at Race City RV. That's right, purchase a trailer or motorhome from Race City, pay nothing till October. Over $10,000 off, time to buy is now. Summer's free at Race City RV. Dominate every trail. Conquer any task. You need a machine that does it all. Introducing Polaris General. The General is the most powerful rec utility side-by-side -side ever made. 
the industry's deepest cargo box, lets you haul and dump up to 600 pounds, and the revolutionary cockpit totally refines comfort and protection. Polaris General, ultimate versatility to win every battle. There's a little place on a Utah map Where I was raised, where my heart's at Where the sagebrush grows wild and high and the stars come out at night In the basin with the Ute Reservation, skin starvation, that Duchesne County life. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are all cleaned up from the mud run and here at the Roosevelt Aquatic Center. Yep, and we, you know, after playing in the mud, we thought, well, it'd be nice to come over here and cool off and swim around and, you know, let this place wash all the deep mud out. <laughs> the deep mud, that's right. This is a beautiful facility. It has a swimming pool, diving board, high dive. Uh, you can see the lazy river behind us, a uh, fun splash park. It's really great, especially if you have young kids and stuff. It's awesome. Like this pool floor has got like a rubber mat on it, so it's super soft. Nice and soft on your feet, and the water temperature is awesome. Yeah. But right now we need to get to our calendar of events. It's that time of year again, rodeo season. There are plenty of great rodeos to attend across the state, but the Juab Stampede Rodeo is something special. It's going on July 13th and 14th down in Nephi, and it's pretty cool how this little community comes together to make such a big event. Tickets are available to purchase now. And near the end of the month, our friends at ADSSS are putting on a really cool event. Yeah, the ADSSS Wake Fest will be going on July 28th and 29th up at Pine View Reservoir. It's a wakeboarding competition with plenty of activities for the family on the beach. We went to Wake Fest last year and had a great time, especially on the water blob. So we're excited to see what ADSSS has up their sleeve this year. Well, that stuff looks like a lot of fun, but let's check out this week's sticker winner. Woo-wee! Sticker winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations to the owner of this Monterey. You are this week's winner. Check out that AYL sticker on the boat trailer. License plate 0873078. Give us a call at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Congratulations to the sticker winner. Let's take a look at next week's show. Next week, Chad and Rhea are looking down on the world from one ATV trail that defies description. Where is it? Closer than you'd imagine, but far enough for a quick vacation. Then Zach Cipriano takes us to a state park that rivals its national counterparts in both beauty and recreation. Finally, Reese Stein shows off the new Tibble Fork Reservoir. You know where to be in seven days. Next week's show looks great. So get out here to Roosevelt, Duchesne County. There's so many fun things to explore and do out here and have a great time with your family. That's right, we've had an awesome time today. So remember, get out and create your own adventure. At, at your, your leisure. leisure. Oh, that was awesome, guys. Yeah. We've had an awesome time today. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was passing it back to you. <laughs> Anything else you wanna add? Uh, I'm single. He is single, he is ready to mingle. <laughs> Don't put that on there.